Hello and welcome to the Business of Bridal Sewing podcast. I'm Monica and I'll be your host and I am so excited to share with you guys my love of the bridal industry. This is a platform that aims to share advice, inspiration, and to build a community that will help you learn to run a profitable bridal sewing business and to reach your goals as a business owner and professional sewer. It has been a dream of mine for almost a decade, basically since the day that I started Bridal Alterations, to create a place where sewists and bridal professionals can come to learn all about running a bridal sewing business. When I started in this industry, there was no community to learn from. There was no training available, and I learned like so many of us do. I learned one-on-one with another businesswoman who took the time to invest her skills and time into teaching me and to invest into my skills and me as a person. There weren't any YouTube videos yet. There wasn't any podcasts or any resources or any books on how to do this, especially nothing on alterations. And I wanted something. I'm an avid learner and the solitude of working on my own and just guessing the best way to do things really wore on me. I wanted a community and I wanted to be able to learn the best way to do things without having to reinvent the wheel over and over again. And now I want to provide that resource for others. But I was always waiting for the right time. I was always waiting until I felt like I knew enough, waiting for the place where I felt like I've arrived and that I was an expert enough to be able to share that with others. But I'm here to tell you now that that place doesn't really exist. There's no place in time where we all feel like we know everything. But no matter where we are, we each have something valuable to share with others. We can build each other up by creating a space where we each can share what we've got and come away with something new for ourselves. So a major disclaimer, and you will hear me say this over and over again in the podcast, is that every business is so different. Some of us work for ourselves. Some of us work for others. Some of us are full-time, part-time. Some work in in in-home studios, some have their own storefronts, some are brand new, and some have been doing this for decades. Wherever you are in your life and in your business, there is a place for you in the conversation to give advice and to also ask questions, to be a teacher and a learner, and to learn new ways of doing old things. I invite you to take what works for you from the ideas that I share here and leave all the rest. There is no one size fits all for everyone, but hopefully by sharing what I've learned in my years of experience in both the bridal and the fashion industry, in both the sewing side and the business side, hopefully you'll find something useful and you'll feel comfortable sharing your own knowledge with us too. For this platform specifically, we'll be talking about both bridal alterations and bridal custom design. Season one specifically will be focusing on the business side of things, and you can think of it as your business 101 for bridal sewing, which honestly is almost never taught. Most of us start out with the skill in sewing and kind of expand from there, picking things up along the way. A lot of us apprentice or learn from an established business or seamstress that we know. And even in design school for almost any art, but specifically for fashion design or costume design or anything that's related to bridal sewing, you learn skills that apply to the art, but not to the business side, not how to make that art sustainable. And if you have the privilege to be able to sew without worrying about the money, honey, good on ya. I am just a little bit jealous <laughs> because that is not me. I'm a single mom with two beautiful kids, but they really like to eat food (laughs) and they like to get tucked into warm beds at night (laughs) and I need this money. But I also need sanity and organization and balance and I also really need to love what I do. And that's where the business of bridal sewing comes in. In season one, we'll be talking all about the business side of things and how to run your business like a business owner, even if you feel like you're just a girl or a boy with a sewing machine in your basement. I'm here to give you all the skills and even the permission to speak and act like a skilled professional and an entrepreneurial business owner, because that is so who we are as bridal sewists.
I mean, I'm also a girl with like four mo- sewing machines and like two surgers in your basement, but I am also <laughs> a business professional and so can you be too. And just a side note about the words that I'll use to describe us, while many of us are women and we have a feminine heritage in this industry that I celebrate and love, and I'll often use the term seamstress, there are quite a few seamsters in our midst as well. And know that we are all included. We are gender inclusive here. There are so few industries where feminine titles are standard, so I kind of love calling bridal sewists seamstresses, but I also strive to contribute to an inclusive professional community on a wider front, so I'll also often use sewists or other gender neutral terms as well. And there are a lot of sewists that like the term tailor. Um, It's gender neutral, and it's rooted in a more professional tone than the word seamstress, and there's like a whole feminist note about how women who so are often seen as hobbyists and men who so are automatically seen as professionals but that's like a whole topic of its own (laughs) but I personally won't use the term tailor but that's just because I come from a background in fashion and costume design where tailoring is used more specifically to refer to suiting in menswear that has its own whole world of technical specifications and is a very skilled and specialized work of its own just as specialized as bridal so I won't use the term tailor as interchangeably as others, but it's a popular one and I am so not mad at it. I kind of actually really like it. It's just, you know, my own personal hangups and any efforts to frame or work in a professional and inclusive way I am here for. I am all about that. Likewise, I will use the term designer or dressmaker And I'll use bespoke and custom bridal, but I will not use the terms couture or couturier because they are likewise a very specific industry and they have a very specific meaning. But what we all are are business people. Whether we work for a bridal shop, an alteration shop, whether we work in our own in-home studios, whether we get paid by somebody else or by ourselves, whether we make lots of money or no money, yet Hopefully there's a yet in there. (laughs) We're all professional bridal sewists, and I'm here to introduce you to the basics of running a profitable sewing business, at least everything that I know and that I've learned on my journey in the bridal industry. Everyone's business situation is different, but I hope you learn something in your time here at the business of bridal sewing that will help you become more profitable, that will help your business thrive or that will help you feel validated in the work that you do and that you have a place in this community of professional seamstresses and sewers. I'm Monica, and I want to welcome you to the business of bridal sewing. 